Welcome back to Tread on Sports. We're coming to you today from the Outpost Skating Arena where the UNM club hockey team plays their games. But again, we're not talking about hockey today. We just wrapped up the men's games against Boise State and Colorado State. So now we're going to go to the press conference with Coach Neal to see what he had to say about those games and look forward a little bit to Wyoming. Uh, guys are all healthy, got all 15 guys at practice. You know, everybody knows that Holt's not playing, but we have 15, so everybody's healthy. Um, we'll see on Connor's status. Um, he's going to probably have to take three or four practices to get going again. He hasn't really practiced. Um, so today we'll have everybody at practice. Um, guys, I think, are excited to get back home, sleep in their own bed. I'm sure they're extremely excited about starting classes today. The first question for Coach came from J.P. Marietta, and he asked Coach how this Wyoming team is different from ones he's played in the past. Well, I think the biggest thing was you, you had to win, you know, 55 to 53, or, you know, it was never, it was always, I think we had really close games since I've been here. The last four out of five have been uh, in overtime. Yeah, four, so I mean, different that way. Uh, the unique thing is they're giving up 80 points in conference play. Um, they've scored a lot of points. They score a lot of points. They have a lot of guys that can shoot it, which has been one of our Achilles heel on the three-point line. So hopefully we'll continue to improve on that. So, you know, it's something that's, that's unique for their team. So it'll be different for our guys. Coach was then asked to comment on the play of freshman point guard Jalen Harris and whether he thinks Jalen is becoming more comfortable in the offense. I think what really helps us, JP, is that Jordan Hunter's coming into zone and Jordan Hunter's healthy. Um, I think you guys are observant. I think fans are observant, but I played a lot of minutes there at the end with Jordan and Jalen in the game. And if I had those resources in games in the past, then maybe we could have finished better because Jordan Hunter went six from six from the foul line. Um, he gives you another threat, but I think he also gives – Jalen rest. I think Jalen being a freshman point guard, logging all those minutes and be, being of his frame and, and strength, I think that pays a toll on him. And I think with Jordan back in practice and I think Jordan in the game, I think that helps Jalen. In that, Coach mentioned a four guard lineup. We've talked to Coach about this four guard lineup before and he hasn't seemed too satisfied. We asked him what he saw in these last couple games that was the difference in that four guard lineup. Uh, I think what they did was they guarded. I think being able to switch and, and do some things defensively, they're able to guard at a high level. Um, offensively, I'm still not pleased where they all are offensively because we should be more potent with four guards on the floor. Uh, we should be able to drive it better. Um, but I think that's just practice and playing, doing it because we haven't had a lot of time doing it. Um, you know, when you have the playbook that we've had for so many years and then you shrink it, and then you, now you're going to put in four guards. Um, you're adding another guard that's really not a great perimeter shooter. So as far as stretching it out, as we've done years past, it's a little bit different. But then you have to be really good at the drive, and, and we got to continue to work on that. But I think they'll figure it out. I mean, um, you know, if we can continue to get confident play from Sam offensively uh, and Dane offensively, and those two little guys playing with the ball, they're hard to guard. And then, of course, Elijah um, might be the best at the country getting to the foul line at, at that perimeter spot. So, It appears the mindset of this entire team has changed the last couple of games, but Coach was asked specifically if he's seen a change in the way Elijah has approached the game. He wants to win. It means something. I think, I think these guys have seen over the last two weeks how good they can be. I think it first came um, to their San Diego State. I don't. I think the Utah State we showed flashes, but I think they get it. I think they get when they do what they're capable of doing, how good they can be. That's a lot of fun. ESPN Radio's Henry T would ask Coach if the adversity this Lobo team has faced lately has been beneficial. Adversity brings out the best in people, and you find out who's tough, who can stand up to it. I think we got a pretty good group. Coach was then asked what his expectations were on the game in terms of pace and physicality. Uh, I want it to be physical. The problem that we have is we, we have to be physical without fouling. When we struggle defensively, we put teams on the line 23, 24 times a game. When we get people 
you know, like our last game, we were in the bonus with 13 minutes to go in the second half. Uh, that's happened to us a couple times this year, and and that's that's hurt us. UNLV, New Mexico State. Uh, we like to play physical defensively. Don't want to use our hands as much, and we don't want to put people in bonus. So um, we just can't let people to get to the line. But I'm sure it's going to be an up and down game. And given that he hasn't seen much Wyoming on film, we asked Coach, what's going to be the defensive plan going into the game? No, we're just going to play him. We're just going to play man. I mean, we're just going to play. I mean, we'll we'll play. At the end of the day, it's it's what you do as a as a program and a team, and we're just going we're going to play how we play. Now we'll make some tweaks. Uh, you'll probably see some unusual lineups, but we're just going to play how we play. In this episode of Tread on Sports, we looked at the men and women's games against Boise State and Colorado State and got a little look forward ahead to the Wyoming game this weekend. Be sure to tune in next week to see what happened in that Wyoming game and get all of the comments from players and coaches. This was Tread on Sports. Thanks for watching. This has been Tread on Sports. Highlights from recent Lobo games, plus coaches' comments and player reactions. Tread on Sports is an original production of Dana TV in cooperation with ProView Sports Channel 26.